Ringo. Untuk kamu yang belum subscribe, subscribe ya. So today we will learn our new chapter. Ya, chapter keempat di pelajaran bahasa Inggris khususnya untuk kamu kelas 7 English for 7 graders. Biasanya di chapter 4 ini dimulai pelajarannya di awal November karena ini adalah materi terakhir di semester ganjil dan judulnya adalah This is my work. On this chapter, you will learn to identify and mention things around you. Jadi kamu akan diminta untuk mengidentifikasi dan menyebutkan benda-benda yang ada di sekitar kamu. So we have eight rooms. Ya, kita punya 8 ruangan atau 8 tempat yang kamu harus identifikasi benda-benda yang ada di dalamnya. And on this chapter you will also learn how to identify singular and plural things. Jadi di chapter ini juga kamu akan belajar bagaimana mengidentifikasi benda-benda singular dan plural. Tapi untuk ini Miss Epri akan bahas videonya sendiri. So check it out. Now let's go. Let's identify each room first. This is a classroom. This is a living room. This is a kitchen. This is a dining room. This is a bathroom. This is a garage. This is a bathroom. And this is a garden. Now, let's mention all things you see in every room. Classroom. We have an air conditioner. We have a clock, a globe, a picture, a door, a window, a board, a cupboard, a book, a table, a wall, a desk, and a chair. Living room. We have a pair of curtains. The bag, some pictures, many books, lamp, a television, a bookcase, a telephone, a carpet, a table, and a sofa. Kitchen. We have a sink, a frying pan, a pan, an oven, a cabinet, a stove, and a refrigerator. Next, we have dining room. A chair, a bottle, a spoon, a mug, a plate, a bowl, a knife, a tablecloth, a rice bowl, a lunch box, and a fork. Bedroom. We have a wardrobe, a pillow, a pillowcase, a bolster case, a bed, a blanket, a bolster, a chair, a table, a mirror, and a lamp. How about garage? We have a ceiling, a lamp, a shelf, a car, a cabinet, um, a rock, a pump, a bicycle, and a motorcycle. Now we have bathroom. We have a mirror, a shower, a scoop, a tub, a toilet, a sink, and a bucket. And the last, we have garden. A tree, a bench, a bird cage, a wheelbarrow, a spade, a watering can, a hoo, some flowers, and some pots. After you learn all these things, please memorize all things you see in every room to improve your vocabulary. Salah satunya cara kita belajar untuk improving our vocabulary untuk menambah kosakata kita dalam bahasa Inggris kita wajib menghafal ya. Untuk bab ini kita diminta untuk menghafal nama benda-benda yang ada di 8 ruangan atau 8 tempat yang tadi sudah dibahas. So after this jangan lupa ya kamu belajar kembali tentang singular and plural di video selanjutnya. Alright, thank you guys for visiting my YouTube.